I was uh, at TAC for about three months and uh, during that time I had uh, several different experiences. Um, the idea which I brought initially was to um, uh, take my original work and scale it up. Okay, so I do simulations, I do numerical models and I usually do it with uh, a, a, a powerful desktop but still there are many limitations. So my main objective was to learn the techniques and see how the professionals uh, scale up these problems to work in massive supercomputers and how to obtain better results more efficiently. Um, and so for that reason, um, the entire experience that I had at, uh, at the University of Texas at TAC uh, was uh, very enriching because I've first uh, I've learned that um, there is no hidden secret, okay? There is uh, uh, at least uh, at the first level uh, transferring your uh, work, your programs, your codes, your simulations to a larger scale. There are, the, the, that involves fairly uh, easy techniques. Of course, to make it very efficient, we need the help of the professionals, but the, 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 the initial, there is not a, a, an initial barrier uh, for you to scale up your, 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 your work. So in that, in that perspective, it was very uh, enriching and um, sort of uh, cleared out uh, questions that I might have uh, of how to do it. Also, I had contact uh, with different techniques, techniques that I did not have here. Um, the fact that I, we have a huge resource available, that means that the, the, the way how you work is different. And that having access to that, not only for those three months, but uh, afterwards, um, to be able to access that resource whenever I need to uh, scale up my work to larger simulations uh, with higher resolution, that's really important. And I think that's, that uh, allows my horizons, my research horizons, to grow. When I arrived at TAC, I found people to be very receptive, uh, very uh, friendly, and uh, that allows us to, uh, to build not only personal relations, but also professional relations. And um, the entire environment is very productive. So uh, whenever there is an opportunity to do something positive, to do something that brings value to other people, uh, that environment welcomes that opportunity. So uh, the fact that uh, um, TAC at, uh, at the University of Texas has many courses in different subjects uh, related with uh, high performance computing or in, in this case with visualization, scientific visualization, um, is a resource that uh, they make available to people outside the university. And um, I was interested as a Portuguese researcher to have access to those courses. And some of them, this one in particular, uh, would take place after my return to Portugal. So, and because they allow us to do these courses remotely, they have this, this infrastructure organized so that people can take these courses remotely and whatever they are, be able to learn. Um, that uh, suggested the idea from people from TAC why don't you scale up and open this to other people, to other researchers in Portugal who want to have uh, the opportunity to have access to this uh, learning, uh, to these new techniques, to this, uh, to, to, to this possibility of improving their, their, their skills. And from that it became exceptionally natural. I mean, uh, people were very receptive, people from TAC, from uh, Austin, Portugal, um, made it uh, available to us this course and available to the participants and I think uh, as we reach the end of this course I think the success was considerable people have found out that certain things that uh, look distant or difficult to do after all uh, at the end of the day they are accessible okay so we we are able to do things and I'm sure that different people will take different parts of what we've learned here and incorporate them in their own work, whether it's research, education, or any uh, other other activities. And so, um, it is. It was was uh, I think a very um, fulfilling uh, 
uh, opportunity and experience.